Well guys, I'm going to show you a simple video. A lot of people are asking, a lot of people have an issue with the, it could be a 3D printer or this could be a laser. They all use the same method as long as you have this rail here. A lot of people are having an issue, this is moving like this, okay? The laser moves back and forth. That is very bad a problem actually because when you're engraving, if you go on high speed, the laser will move and you won't get clear image. So it's a simple fix. I'm just gonna explain something for you guys. This is the nut, okay? It's basically a little, it's not a nut. It looks like a nut, but it's not. It's a bushing, and if you see, it is a little bit offset on this side compared to this side, okay? It's not centered, the hole. That is designed like this. Yeah, the reason is this sits all the way in the back of this wheel. It sits here in the back of the wheel. Uh, just check your model if you're doing a 3D printer or example, even these here, uh, like these wheels here, okay? Some could be like here or in the bottom. You should have one of them all the time. On this here, we have two. One on this side, one on this side. What they do, to explain it better, if you turn this way, let's say clockwise, watch, I'm going to do this and watch the circle. If you turn... Your circle is changing the direction. It's going up or it's going down. Okay. What this does, it brings the wheel down, making giving it more force on this rail here, or it makes it looser. You do not want it too much pressure because you'll start uh, basically putting groove. So if you're having, you open your laser, I open it by the way, and you can see it should not do this without nothing. Okay, don't try to, you know, squeeze this and try to bolt it harder to make it hold. That's not the solution, okay? You will affect something else later on. So here, you get a, there's a, this tool's here. I put a hole here just to hang it. This tool comes with it, and all you gotta do is turn it, and then you, you see, uh, and then the way I know it's working. So right now both wheels are moving. I mean, both of them are tied touching both surfaces see if I look at this side here the bottom one is not moving only the top that mean these are touching this is touching that is not touching let me give you a close look up for this thing just to help you guys so if you see what moving was not the top ones are moving this one's moving right now barely okay but I can do this, you know, compare this a little bit harder to move. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll go to this bolt here in the back, and I'll show you in a minute. Yeah. Basically, those are what I was talking about. One here and one here. Okay. And then and you just tie them. So now I'm just gonna turn it now. And now it's not moving, barely. See? Now my movement, barely. I can tie it more. It depends, you know, just to get rid of all the movement. So I'm going to turn this one a little bit more. Let's see. That's it. Here, I need a little more. Got to go up. I'll go down this way. There, it's tight. No more. No more movement. Okay. Now you put this in here. You tie your bolts, and it should yeah, you should not have no more movement. I hope this will help you guys. Please leave any comment or any questions you have. I will be more than happy to help you. Again, pay attention, please. Do not over tight this because you will ruin your wheel. Okay, because imagine your wheel will be hitting this area very hard, too much pressure. After a couple of runs, you'll see the lying on your wheel here. Okay, do not do that. Just tie it enough, you know, and make sure it's just loose. Okay, you don't you do not want this to be very hard moving. Okay. Hope this helped you guys. Thank you.